Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. And first of all, before even the video starts, I want to say thank you so much because the channel has been growing at a rate that we've never seen before. Like 25 subscribers per day, about five, 6,000 views daily. That is insane. Thank you so much guys. And thank you for going ham on that subscribe button. It really keeps me going. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. It's a red button right under this video. And also drop a like if you end up liking this video. So let's get started. So you're looking into the Dell XPS 15 or any laptop and you're like, this laptop is the laptop. You're, you're ready for it. You want to get it. You've done your research and you know this is the laptop that you want to be rocking daily. And you know the XPS 15 has its own flaws, but for the most part such specs can't be found on a device with such a form factor. And to anyone who asks me what is the best laptop I can get that isn't a gaming laptop, the Dell XPS 15 is one of the first laptops that come to my mind. However, when you're making this purchase decision, there are some things that you need to avoid because it's just not worth your money. Now, I will be talking about one of them in this video, and there's another one that I want to talk about in the future. That's for another video, so like I said, if you want to see that, stay subscribed and turn on your post notifications. But the thing I want to talk about today is Windows 10 Pro. So when you're checking out your Dell XPS 15, you're finishing configuring it, it gives you an option to upgrade to the Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. Now this is an additional 100 Canadian dollars and that's actually absurd. I mean, you're already paying a lot of money for this laptop. So to be shelling out another hundred dollars, you're really thinking, is this hundred worth it for this software? Or should I just save a little bit more and go for the higher configuration? You know, you really come to that mind and you know, I just want to say never ever get the Windows 10 Pro from the Dell website because the price is just absurd and also if you check out the Microsoft's official link and see how much they sell Windows 10 Pro for, it's actually $260 in Canada. Now the reason why this is so expensive is because Windows is the only thing that can run on this XPS. Now I know Ubuntu and everything is there, but the main dog is Windows and they know no matter what the price is, people will still get it. And that's the whole thing about this. So that's why they can go ahead and increase the price to however much they want and people will still most likely get it. Now, but to me, I don't see this amount of money to be justified for what I'm paying for because Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro don't really have a huge gap, especially not a hundred or a $260 gap. But the sponsor for today's video, SED Key, actually reached out to me and told me that they have Windows 10 Pro keys for 15 US dollars, and that is amazing. Because 15 US dollars is something that's within a lot of people's budget, and for $15, I can actually justify in my mind that the features that I'm getting are actually worth $15. And before we proceed with the video and show you that I'm going to be upgrading my Windows Home to Windows 10 Pro on my XPS, I want to tell you what SED Key actually is. So these guys are actually an official platform that sells game keys and software keys. So when it comes to game keys, they have PC, Xbox, PS4, and PC includes Origins, Uplay, Steam, whatever it is. And for software, they have Windows keys, Microsoft Office keys, they have antivirus cards, and on top of all of this, they also sell gift cards. So Xbox, PS4, iTunes, Google Play gift cards. But guys, this is just a whole package, guys. And just for you guys, I was able to get you guys a discount code. So this is the discount code that will give you 10% off on your purchases. So go ahead and use that code and also use the link in the description if you're interested in buying a Windows key or any other key from their website. Now let's go ahead and get a key from their website and let's start installing Windows 10 Pro on my Dell XPS 15. Now if you already have your Dell XPS 15 with you right now, I want you to press the Windows button and search up Dell. 
Now, if you're seeing a lot of Dell applications, that is not good. That means that you haven't reinstalled Windows since you got your Dell computer. Now, Dell installs tons of bloatware on their computer, but the only necessary Dell applications that you should have are Dell Premier Color for the screen and the Dell Wi-Fi card and also the Dell Driver Update app. If you have these three things, that's all you need. Everything else should be uninstalled or else you should just go ahead and grab an ISO and do a fresh copy of Windows on your computer. If you want to see me doing that, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. Now I went ahead and bought the $15 Windows 10 Pro key and the good thing is these guys accept PayPal, credit card and all sorts of payments and they have a secure connection so everything is good. And if anything goes wrong, you can always talk to their customer care and it has really good service and they'll just give you a refund or solve the issue if anything's wrong. So there's a slight catch when you're buying a key for such a low price and that is that these are OEM keys. So that means that if anything goes wrong with the key, Microsoft will not be your main supporter. So if you have any issues with the key, you will have to go to the place that you got it from and in this case, SED key. And I've already talked to their customer care once and they seem pretty good. And the other thing is that OEM keys can only be applied once onto your computer. So if I install it onto this XP15 right here and I get another XP15 and decide to throw this one out, I can't technically take the key and install it onto that. But there is a way to transfer keys onto another computer even though it's OEM, but that requires you to call up some hotline and tell them that your device is beyond repair and it got destroyed and you upgraded and yeah, you might as well just go ahead and buy another $15 key. It's it's that good of a price. Now let's say that you have a fresh install of Windows or you just simply don't care about the bloatware and you have Windows 10 Home. How do you really get into Windows 10 Pro? And you already went ahead and spent $15 and got the Windows 10 Pro key and you're wondering how you do this. So let's go ahead and start. So first of all you want to go into your settings and you want to go to the update tab and under here you can choose activation. So when you go to this activation tab it should already say that Windows is activated because every Dell XPS 15 comes with Windows Home pre-installed. Now all you have to do is click the little thing underneath that says change product key and you should just enter the new product key that you got from the website. Now once I enter the new Windows 10 Pro key Windows will identify that this is a Windows 10 Pro key and that you have a Windows 10 Home key and they'll tell you to close any work that you have running in the background and they will start with restarting your computer and installing the new features. Now let's take a look at it installing Windows 10 Pro features onto my Windows Home. Now after a few minutes and restarting the laptop, I finally got into the computer and as you can see, let me just go ahead and unlock it and after unlocking my computer, let me head over to settings and once again to update and then now into the activation tab and instead of Windows 10 Home now, you should be able to see the Windows 10 Pro key and it should say that it has been activated and everything looks good. Now you're wondering, alright, this seems easy, this seems like a good deal a lot cheaper than $260 from Microsoft, a lot cheaper from Dell which is $100, but do I really need this? What can I get from getting Windows 10 Pro? Well, the thing is a lot of these Windows 10 Pro features are useful if you're a power user. So if you run a business or something, it's easy to monitor this laptop, give it to an employee, and things like that. It's just it's just it's just so much better. But to an average person like me, what I mostly use Windows 10 Pro for is remote access. Remote access I know can be done through apps like TeamViewer and stuff like that, but it's always nice to use native features over third-party applications. Now another thing as an average user that I use Windows 10 Pro for is virtual machines. Windows 10 Pro allows you to run virtual machines 
as a native feature. And this is really good, especially if you want to debug or test applications before you use it on your actual operating system. You can technically just isolate a totally different operating system onto your computer. These two features are the main stuff that I use as an average person. But Windows and Pro may be more beneficial to you if you're a power user or you own a business or things like that where you want to have a network and it's just easier to manage than having Windows and Home. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Once again, go ham on the subscribe button guys. It's just been insane. We're hitting 1,000 subscribers so fast. And thank you to SED Key for sponsoring this video and allowing me to give you guys such a discount. Once again, here's the discount code if you guys want to check it out. Links are in the description. Go ahead and get yourself a Windows 10 Pro Key. And hopefully I just saved you some money from buying it through Dell and even worse through buying it from the Microsoft Store. So if I did somehow help you or give you guys some advice, go ahead and thank me in the comment section below or if you have any questions or whatever, ask me in the comment sections once again. I love to see you guys interact with the videos. It supports me a lot. And with that being said, this is Tech Alpha, signing out with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.